Com, and today we're showing you Android 4.0 ICS on the original Galaxy Tab 10.1. So finally in the US, you can now update your Galaxy Tab 10.1 to Android 4.0. Finally, of course, Samsung is going to be launching the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1 very soon. Galaxy Note 10.1 very soon. So of course, that's probably why they had to bring this out. Um, so first thing is your update will be done, you can do, it's gonna be over the air or through Keys Airs and you can see how the Keys Airs uh, update is. We'll just show you here in a second um, and just follow the instructions and rules. Download the software and install it. This is how the software looks like. Um, and you connect to your Galaxy Tab 10.1 to your uh, computer via the USB cable. And now uh, once it's connected and it's, it shows everything, you know, it and it's all connected together, sorry. Um, you get uh, this, you will get this uh, message if the firmware update is available for you. It says new firmware version available, upgrading may be important performance to the GTP7510, so do upgrade. So hit update and it will do that to tell you what you need to do. May take five to 30 minutes. Please fully charge, I've read, allow savings, proceed without savings, makes it easier and start upgrade downloads the firmware update and it should carry the update so we'll do that and we will continue because it's going to take some time and we'll show you uh, how ICS looks on the uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 so now we are back and you can see uh, we've updated our system they follow the whole prompts through using keys airs uh, showing you what we have here if we go into settings and of course we go into about device you can see there it is Android 4.0.4. Now, so this is the latest version of Android, uh, not Jelly Bean, but you know, the latest, most popular version of Android right now in the system. Uh, it is running TouchWiz. It is, I don't think it's what running Nature UI, but a couple of things to note. So a lot of features are still similar to the device. I will say though, it is running much smoother. Uh, with a jump to Android 4.0. Yeah, you do have, of course, your back, your, ho your home, your multitask on screen. Uh, of course, you can flick those away either way you like. You still have a task manager that you can bring up. And also, you have your snapshot button that allows you to take snapshots, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also oh, head back home. You also do have your quick mini menu bar here, still available, so you can bring up uh, different tasks like a calculator, music player, pen memo, and uh, task manager, and use that um, while doing other things. So if I bring up the calculator, of course, I can still use the calculator on any screen whatsoever. So that is there. Um, you also do have uh, your multitask uh, functionality also on the side menu here, so I can still swipe this away and I can swipe that away on there, which is, you know, which is nice. A uh, couple other things to note, if you go to the home screen, uh, to create a folder, you, you, you can't hold down, of course, on the home screen to create a folder, which of course would give you these options. Say you wanted to create a folder uh, for uh, web apps, so I hold down Chrome, I can, it brings up this menu on the top, I can either delete it, which is basically just take it off the home screen, I can get app info, I can create a new page for it, or I can create a folder. So if I do create pay folder, that's it right there. Or if I want to create a page for app maps, I can do that. It takes you to a new page. That's just pretty much what it is uh, for that. And um, so on and so forth. If I wanted some info, you know, I can't do info on folders. I can only create a page for folder, but I can do an info for YouTube and it takes me to the app info itself. So you do have those options there. In terms of your settings themselves, uh, what you do have, of course, is the setting is more similar to what you have in Android 4.0. So you do have uh, different sections for wireless, device, personal, system, so on and so forth. Backup and reset are all together in one. And um, <clears throat> you also have data usage. But since this is a Wi-Fi only model, it really doesn't matter. In terms of keyboard, the keyboard's still the same, but I changed my keyboard. So, for instance, when you... You bring up a prompt to use a keyboard. You can see at the bottom there, you have the option to switch keyboards, and I just downloaded the Jelly Bean keyboard. So your keyboard still is the Samsung keyboard. This hasn't changed with that, but you can change that to the Jelly Bean keyboard there. And also the voice prompt actually works pretty well. So let's try that out. Pizza shops in Amherst, Massachusetts. 
Okie dokie, I'll use Chrome, set that, and see what it gives us, just, you know, just to check. Amherst, Massachusetts, Pizza Shops. Yeah, there we go. So it works well. Um, does a very good job there. In terms of applications that have been added uh, with the updates, uh, you can see, of course, the app tray. You can scroll through much smoother. Trust me, it's much smoother. You do have a pen memo app, um, so which basically you can use a stylus to write things with. So if you can actually go to the pen memo, I know we had that open here. Yeah, we did. So we have a pen memo app. We can jump in there. And you can scribble things across. Uh, I'm just going to delete that. Let's hit OK. Start a new memo. You can write on there. So if you have a stylus, you can actually use the Pen Memo app uh, on the system here. Uh, you also have a photo editor. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember if it was there or not, but it's been. I knew it was updated because there's an update for that while you're doing the system update itself. Um, and you can see it just scrolls through. Even in the app tray, you can pinch the zoom so you can actually zoom out and see all the apps in the collective fashion and jump in there. Even And we go to the widgets, you can do the same thing for widgets. I can actually, and there is some slowdown. So that's uh, the first slowdown I've noticed with it, um, surprisingly so. But in general, there hasn't been any uh, slowdowns in the system, which uh, I was surprised at with that. But overall, um, you know, there's not much in aesthetical difference with uh, Android 4.0. On this, there there have been a few added changes. Uh, it, it does run smoother, so if you have a... Um, if you have uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10 Pro 1, the original first version, uh, this will actually improve your system performance. Uh, battery life is still the same. You're still getting close to about 10 hours of battery life, so it's not like it's going to give you, you know, 12 or 13 or something like that um, on there. Um, but you can check the battery meter there, and you can see what the battery discharge is there. You can also see the power savings. You do have power savings options, so you can do custom power savings, which is cool. So you can actually customize your power savings and turn things on and turn things off and all that kind of fun stuff. So overall, um, you know, it's nice that finally Samsung has brought up the update, but in all honesty, uh, visually, there's not nothing much that's changed. They've just changed a lot of internal things. Oh, uh, the alarm clock is slightly different with this. Um, and of course you now have access to music hub and all this kind of thing so that's pretty much it you know if you guys have any questions or any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube it's all border work with two o's so this is study saying thank you and always enjoying statements